Newly elected mayor of Borishal City Corporation, Shrinivas Sadiq Abdullah, has taken off. There is no chance of accepting any of the demands placed by Jati Oikko Front, said Obadul Kader. And at least three people were killed and two others injured in a road accident in Chatpur. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV News. I'm Fawza Roshan Akhtar with you in the newsroom today. We are still watching the headlines and now the details. Newly elected mayor of Borishal City Corporation, Shreniabad Sadiq Abdullah, has taken oath of office. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina Admar started the mayor oath at a ceremony held at her office on Monday morning. Besides, local government, rural development and the corporate minister Kandakar Musharraf for Sanadis ministered the oath to the councillors. Meanwhile, local government division senior secretary Dr. Zafar Ahmed Khan conducted the oath-taking ceremony. In the occasion, the premier has urged the people's representatives to work for the country and the people, not for themselves. He said the government is working for the development of a grassroots people. There is no chance of accepting any of the demands placed by Jati Oiko Front, Avamalik General Secretary Badul Kader said. Oiko Front's demand for dialogue just days ahead of the announcement of Pulse schedule is illogical, said Kader. The road transport and bridges minister was speaking to journalists in reply to queries by journalists at a program on National Road Safety Day at Krishibid Institute. There is no such situation in the country that we need our dialogue. Now the situation has come and peaceful now, he said. BNP Secretary General Mr. Fakhri Samalungir has said that the country is now in a terrible environment. He said this before the Janaja of the Executive Committee member of the party, Abu Said Khan. Party Standing Committee members Gaisho Chanduroy and Nazrul Islam Khan, among others, were present in the Janaja in front of BNP Central Office in Neapolitan. The party's senior joint secretary general Rahul Kabir Rizvi last day at a press conference at the central office that assassination was started in front of the election. At least three people were killed and two others injured as a covered van hit an auto rickshaw on a Chatpur Kumila Road near Bakila Bazar in Hajigonzu Pazila of Chatpur early Monday. The deceased were identified as Abu Sufyan and his son Ikram Hussain. Haji Ganj police said Chatpur bound the auto rickshaw collided with a covered van in the area early Monday, leaving the three people dead on the spot and the two others critically injured. The injured were sent to Chatpur General Hospital. Four people have been sentenced to death for the murder of a college student, Moni Hussain, in Manigonj. Another has been sentenced to a life term, while three more have been acquitted. The verdict was delivered by Manigonj District and the session to Judge Shahidul Alam Chinook around noon on Monday. The names of those sentenced to death are Batshamia, Lalmia, Anwar Hussain, and Asghar Chaudhry. The verdict was delivered in the presence of Batsha and Lalmia, as the others remain at large. The murder in question occurred September 10, 2015. Two children died in the Mathabhanga River of Gangni in Meherpur by drowning. The occurrence happened this morning. Locals said that two children named Nusrat and Thripsta had drowned the river in the morning for bathing in the Mathabhanga River. They were drowned in water at Wall stage. Afterwards, the bodies of two were found in the river. Viewers, that's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with My TV News online, visit www.youtube.com/mytvbdnews. And to watch all our programs on YouTube, visit youtubecom Bangla. 
Uh, next, we'll wait to look at telecast in Bangladesh at 7.30 p.m. Don't forget to join with us till then. Stay connected. Allah Hafiz.